In this video, I want to show you how to label your rock blanks. You'll want to put your sample name on rock blanks so that you don't get confused about what sample you are making a thin section out of. Also, if you ever need to come back and make more thin sections, you'll be able to find the same rock sample that they came from. One of the easiest ways is to actually use um, liquid correction fluid and make a stripe of this on the side of the thin section that's opposite the side that you want to actually make the thin section of. So in this, for this rock, this is our polished side, so I'm going to turn it upside down from there and then put a strip of white out or liquid correction fluid um, or anything white like that that will dry um, on the surface there and then wait for it to dry. Once they're dry, you can write the sample name or number on the rock. This is perfectly acceptable and you don't need to go any further than this. It is always really useful to label the thin sections like this on the side that's opposite the side you want to make the thin section. This additional step basically just requires you to take clear fingernail polish or some other finish and put a layer of fingernail polish on top of your label. And again, this is where it becomes really important to not have a pen that will bleed very easily because you can already see it get smudged a little bit from the polish.